So we're going to do our final gravity check on it to see, and then we'll be able to compare where the gravity was at first, yeah. so the original gravity, where the final gravity is, and then we can work out exactly how much alcohol we've produced. And so to clarify, the gravity is what you call specific gravity is? Specific gravity is density, density, I guess. Yeah. So at this point, we'll just take a sample. Yeah. And this is a refractometer. So this is not the most accurate tool. We use hydrometers yes. later, but for this process, it makes it really easy. We don't waste a lot of stuff. And when you work with the hydrometer, you have to, to calculate with the temperature, um, the sugar. The right, right. But with a refractometer, you don't have to worry about the temperature. Is that because it's measuring the light? It's, it's how the light passes through the sugar. So yeah, you just put a little sample over the, over the glass piece and kind of push it down, get all the air out of it. And so when you look through there, then you'll see how many degrees bricks are in there. So it's, it's about 14.2. So that's how we measure the beer. We take our starting point, how much sugar have we got at the start, yeah. and how much sugar have we got at the end. And then the difference we can convert to give us the alcohol by volume. So first what we need to do is we need to, there's a temperature adjustment. So we need to make sure, measure the temperature first. This is seven degrees. And that's because the colder a liquid gets, it gets more dense but as it heats up, it gets less dense. So this is a saccharometer from a scale of 1010 to 1020. The yeast basically will eat the sugar. In eating the sugar, it will then turn it into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So that's where, that's where our bubbles come from in the beer, the carbon dioxide, yeah. from the natural fermentation process. And so as you can imagine, as the yeast turns some of the sugar into alcohol, the density will get less and less and less because, because alcohol is less. Al alcohol is lighter, exactly less dense than than sugar. Four point five percent is bang on the alcohol that we're aiming for for this beer. So that's great. We had the right starting gravity, we had the right final gravity, and that means that the beer is consistent with what we're trying to brew—a four point five percent best bitter.